Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Yes, I am back home. I am at this home. I was at a different home last week or a few days of yesterday. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm home now, so anyhow. Let's get started. What are, we, are you ready? Are you ready? Because that's what I heard. Before I turned the camera on, I was sitting here getting ready, and I heard, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, here we are. Oh, we got one card. Flew out. Ah! Wheel of Fortune reversed. So, we had this. I think we had this the day before yesterday. Wheel of Fortune reverse. I think it was not yesterday, but the day before. Um, Wheel of Fortune reverse is an unfortunate setback of some sort or a delay. There could be a delay. Let's see what we got to go with that. I will get started on the next segment tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. So I'll do the 12 signs again. So there's some sort of delay, setback, bad luck with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Oh, we got three or four that fell, five, five. Well, when you get a five, you can expect a change because fives are change, they are unexpected change. It's conflict that brings change. Interesting, I knew we were gonna get the King of Swords. I knew it today on my way home. Um, I kept thinking the King of Swords is gonna come up today. I know the King of Swords is gonna come up today. First card out, King of Swords, Libra. Gemini Aquarius this guy knows what he wants the delay is in the past perhaps because that is in the past position so the king of swords knows what he wants is about to do something okay he's made up his mind he's gonna do something now we got the page of cups reversed nine of swords ooh two of cups Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands upright. So we have somebody here that uh, is probably very, very worried. They're worried, they're worried, or they're, well, the Nine of Swords, this is uh, stressed out. Somebody is stressed out. They may end up with some regrets. I'm not sure. This is... Uh, could be some regrets. We do have a partnership here. We have a union. We have increased uh, movement, fast forward movement, things happening fast, thing, more and more, it's things happening more and more and more and more. So this is increased communication, increased movement in, in a partnership. These two people seem to have some sort of connection. The delay is in the past, but that Nine of Swords is there's some sort of worry. And then next to the, the King of Swords is the Page of Cups reversed. So that is emotionally, literally, that is unavailable. Somebody may have their heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person is not looking for love, but we have another person that is. Nine of, Nine of Swords right next to the Two of Cups. This is, you know, Looks like we have somebody here that is um, feeling stressed out or anxious or having regrets over doing something. Two of Cups is, is, is a union. We have two people that are uh, face to face with each other. Things are, are heating up. They're picking up. That's, that's things moving forward but that page of cups reversed is is typically not looking for love or emotionally unavailable somebody may have regrets for getting themselves involved with somebody that is emotionally unavailable something like that or they're not looking for a partnership Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is something coming back around. Uh, a decision is being made. We have somebody here that is about to do something. Um, hangman reversed. 
hangman reversed is detached um, will never change somebody's hiding something we may have somebody here that is hiding something they're not willing to change they uh, sacrificing themselves needlessly extremely detached it feels like we have somebody here that is extremely detached they're, they may be wasting their time or something like that. There could be some sort of fear of attachment. There could be fear of attachment, you know, with the hangman reverse right next to the nine of swords. The nine of swords is very, very, very stressed out, worried, anxious. Um, oh, my God. That's what it looks like. This person's got their hands over their face. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did this. So I'm not sure if somebody is doing something that they regret. Page of Cups reversed. Literally, emotionally unavailable. A bubble being burst. Not, not good news with mirroring the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is not good news. This is repeating negative patterns. Uh... This king of swords is very decisive, knows what they want, is going to do something. This person just does it, doesn't, you know, I got this idea and I'm going to do it. Hangman reversed is struggling, you know, um, hmm, struggling with change. We have somebody here but that could be letting go of something. Hold on, what is this hangman reversed? Six of Wands reverse. Now that is that is no progress. That's no progress. It's a loser. We have somebody here that may be losing, losing a battle. Somebody is losing a battle. They're trying to fight some sort of battle that has to do with attachment, but they're losing the battle. I mean, Six of Wands reversed is either in the battle or losing the battle. Somebody is losing a battle with, with something, something that they are attached to. They haven't been able to change. Somebody is, and this is an unfortunate loss. So I'm not sure if somebody is, you know, um, they're not looking for to change for sure with that wheel of fortune in reverse. We have somebody here that is refusing to change. They're not wanting to change. They're resisting change. They, but they're losing a battle of some sort. On the bottom, we have the star card. This is wish fulfillment. This is this is guaranteed success. This is a dream come true. So something is going on here. This is heaven sent. Everything happens for a purpose. I have, this is the purpose. This is a reason. This is a hope. This is um, a blessing. A blessing that comes after a tower moment. So there's some sort of bless. Somebody is receiving a gift. They are receiving a gift, and it's hard to accept it's tired tired to accept this as a gift because there's a resistance to change a strong resistance to change and i feel like we have somebody here that is closed off emotionally with the king of swords next to the page of cups reverse that is like cold okay it's like I'm, I'm not looking for a relationship but we have that two of cups with the eight of wands both upright so that is a partnership a union that is a possible you know perfect match where things are you know going forward they're moving forward in a positive direction with the eight of wands there's increased uh, communication perhaps messages going back and forth forward movement uh, increase we have an increase of some sort what is this eight of wands and the two of cups Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a choice. It's at a crossroads, making a choice as to whether somebody wants to broaden their horizons, step over the edge, step into unknown territory, uh, cross that barrier. You know, somebody has had a barrier up. And it feels like this is definitely about a partnership because we have two twos. And there, I was clarifying one of the twos. Twos are about partnerships, maybe, uh, you know, partnerships, unions, uh, 
choices, changes. There's a need to have faith and trust and step into unknown territory. So we have somebody here that has been indecisive or, well, I don't know about that because the King of Swords typically is a thinker. This is somebody that is very wise. This is somebody that is probably very worried about getting into a partnership or something like that, but they have a choice to make. There is a choice here. Things are about to change and I think things are changing fast. I think it's very unexpected. This is losing a battle of some sort. We have somebody here that has been resisting change. They weren't, but things are changing fast. We have somebody here that is definitely looking at a partnership that they, it's like they weren't looking for it. I wasn't looking for it, but they're looking at it. It's like right in front of their face. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Pisces, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We even have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have somebody here that is losing with the Six of Wands reversed. They're losing out they're, and they're going to regret it. Maybe there's another option here that is, 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 there's competition. There is competition. We have somebody here that is, is losing to the competition. Five of Wands comes before that. Six of Wands, they didn't take action. They were not looking for a relationship. They weren't expressing their feelings. They are going to regret it because there is somebody here that is uh, stepping up by the looks of things. Two of Wands, stepping into unknown terror. Somebody's about to be offered the world. You know, we have a partnership. It's, you take a look at this. These two are right together. That's like somebody's being offered the world, right? That's the world in that Two of Wands. Somebody's going to be, you know, this is a partnership that is, you know, um, beautiful by the looks of things. This is, this is, uh, where's that star card? It's a golden opportunity with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is somebody that has a lot to offer, that is very stable, uh, solid, hardworking, maybe even has uh, business oriented. The Queen of Pentacles is a hard worker, has a lot to offer, is a homemaker, uh, very generous, very loyal. Looks like this person is has, has something big to offer. Take a look at that. That's a big opportunity right there. It's huge. So we have, a, we have somebody here that is holding on to something of value. And they have somebody in this situation that is about, it's almost like step into their space. It feels like get right, get somebody's like stepping, stepping into their space. A choice is being made. We have a partnership. We have two people that are going to be looking at each other by the looks of things. These two people need to make a choice as to whether they want to move forward. I think they're going to, I think communication is going to increase. I think things are going to move forward very, very fast. We do have a loser here though with the six of six of wands reverse and when you get twos there's always two choices okay so there could be two options here so i think that we have we have a loser and we have a winner this is an unfortunate loss for this individual who has been resisting change sacrificing themselves needlessly for a situation where there's no love i feel like whoever it is that they put on the back burner is moving forward with somebody else and it's going to develop into some sort of connection maybe it's a soulmate connection maybe it's already a soulmate connection You know, you think about the star card. The star card is about wishes. Somebody, somebody's wish is being granted. And we also have the six of wands reverse. We have some. We have a. We have a loser here who uh, is fighting change next to the hangman reverse. They're, they're they're unwilling to take action, so they're about to lose something of value. You know, they are. 
because there's somebody else here that is going to do it. This person is ready. This person is ready. We have an individual that is going to regret, regret stalling. That's exactly what it is. They're going to regret playing games because we have another individual here that is taking the position. This person is taking the position. And they're ready. This is somebody that is ready. They're ready for a partnership. They're ready for increase. They're ready for int intimacy. They, the Eight of Wands is also the rods of love. This is increased intimacy, increased communication, increased movement. With next to these two twos, in between between two people that have probably been held back by hanging on to something needlessly, delaying their future happiness, waiting for a player who wasn't willing to fight for them. Waiting for a loser. This loser is going to regret, seriously, we have the Six of Wands, next to the Nine of Swords, and then the Hangman, it is reverse. This is regrets. This is this is a loser. This is regrets, uh, re refusing to budge, re struggling to let go, wasting time. This person, we have a loser here that has wasted a lot of time hanging on to some. Maybe it's pride. Both the hangman reverse and the six of wands reverse is pride. It, it is. It's very prideful, egotistical. You know, we have somebody here that refuses to change. That is not very enlightened. That is going to be experiencing a huge loss because there is somebody else here that is taking the position. Somebody's going to be receiving some information as well that they don't want to hear. They may receive information that somebody has decided with these twos. That's a that's a they have decided to go in a different direction. That may not be good news to whoever's getting that news. But there is there is forward movement in the future. We have two people that are really on the same page, and and somebody is going to be taking a risk, stepping into unknown territory. They've been closed off emotionally because they were wasting time on a player. The player is not going to lose by the looks of things because there's somebody here that is very, very intelligent. The King of Swords is somebody who knows what they want and goes for it. This is somebody that sees something, they, they gotta have it and they go for it. There's no stopping this person. Four of Swords reverse. This is the death of a person or idea, extremely exhausted, fed up, um, tired. Um, it's time to live, it's time to live again. It's time to, uh, we have somebody here that has been refusing to wake up. You know, this is like, this is the end. I mean, this is like a death, right? It is. But it's reversed. So it's like, it could be extremes. We have somebody here that is extremely exhausted and tired of not seeing any progress with an individual that is refusing to let go with the hangman reversed. That's a refusal, a strong re refusal to let go of something um, that is not victorious because the six of wands reverse is right underneath it. We have somebody here that is fighting change. They are fighting change because uh, They're repeating negative patterns with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. They, they uh, have a point to prove. Maybe there's something to do with society, friends or family or something. 
We have somebody here that may be in their ego, you know, they, they, they it is pride. They're fighting change because of pride. What's everybody going to say? They may have to give up something of value to have the change that they seek within. So I feel like they're losing. This is a loss for the Six of Wands reverse. We have a, we have a person here that is refusing to change that is... Uh, losing their battle they're losing they're losing the fight they're losing the competition they're losing to the competition and they're going to regret it they are going there there's strong regrets here with a sick with the nine of swords reversed page of cups reversed is a bubble burst it's a, it is a rejection somebody may be told no no sorry you know page of cups reverse nine of swords and then the six of wands reverse that's one lineup that's like nope this could be an unrequited love situation this is not love okay but there is a union here that is that is a good match and things are about to pick up with that partnership things are about to increase this is exchanging something letter lesser for something better okay so it's a card of timing as well. So I do believe there is a change that is coming. This is divinely. This is divine. Okay, this this comes after the death card. This is accepting that something is over. It is uh, blending to create harmony, doing whatever it takes to bring harmony. Um, it's a card of acceptance, going with the flow, allowing accepting that something is over and accepting change. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to exchange something lesser for something better. I think it's time. It's divine time. It's time. I feel like the decision is being made to move forward. I think things are going to pick up. I think somebody's going to be receiving some messages or more and more and more messages from a potential partner that they probably have a lot in common with. Um, but I also see a no here, telling somebody else no, or um, being rejected. I mean, and rejection is sometimes God's protection. This is a card of protection as well. So I do believe that there is a, there is a new suitor here that is better, or however that resonates with you. There's another direction that is being taken with the Two of Wands. There could be a sudden arrival, a sudden return, or a sudden departure. Somebody is suddenly um, stepping into unknown territory with a partnership that they did not. It's almost like they weren't looking for a relationship because they were still hanging on to uh, somebody that... didn't want commitment with them or didn't treat them fairly or uh, wanted to play you know they were hanging on to a player six of wands reverse this is somebody that is, is really worried about what everybody there's a lot of people around we have somebody here that is so worried about what everybody else is gonna say that they are wasting their time sacrificing themselves needlessly for a situation where there is no love it's pride it's like I made a mistake they don't want the world which we do have the word they want the world to know that they made a mistake we all make mistakes Anyhow, we have somebody here that is taking a position of authority. This is somebody that um, wants to live and is looking for a partnership that is about to speed things up in some way. I see increased communication, uh, things moving forward very fast, a new partnership perhaps, and it's probably not one that you were looking for. There could also be some tears shed on this day, so I don't know who that is for. With the, 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 the We could have a loss here, a loss of a partnership. Somebody may receive news that they don't want to hear about you know, a partner that they were hanging on to, you know, that maybe this is the news that pushes them forward, you know. Um, there is some sort of news here, okay? Um, it doesn't look like it's good news with the, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, but it's time for a change. It is, and this is testing the waters as well. We have somebody here that they've probably been tested. Their, their value has probably been tested um, because of that Queen of Pentacles. 
Um, we have one individual here, or both people probably. We have somebody here that has a lot to offer, something of value. And they've been holding on to it, but I think that we have an individual here that is is uh, ready. This is this guy has this King of Swords has butterflies all around him. That's transformation, new life. Next in the Four of Swords, you versus this person is ready for a new life. This is a time of transformation. It is definitely a time of change. So I do believe that we have somebody here that isn't really looking for a partnership. That is probably connecting with somebody where things start to speed up uh maybe it's very suddenly with the two of wands or suddenly in a position that you know this is this is i don't know if it's a dream come true or what this is getting together um things going quite well going very smoothly Knight of Swords coming in fast, really fast. This is somebody that has no fear, that is on a mission. This is a man on a mission. This is uh, putting putting plans in action, uh, throwing themselves into a heart, the heart of a situation. This is somebody rushing in, get out of the way. I know what I want, I'm going for it. So we do have somebody here that uh, is coming. They are on a mission and they are about to open up. They are letting go of their insecurities. They're ready. This is definitely, it's funny they said, are you ready? Because here it comes. Get ready, get set, go. Good luck. Somebody is coming in really, 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 really fast. I mean, that's what the Knight of Swords is. This is somebody that has no fear. Heading right towards a potential partner. Right towards the Two of Cups. This is a this is somebody that is a warrior of some sort. May have been in the military or something. Definitely there's gonna be some sort of an arrival. I feel like it's I feel like it's exciting. I feel like it's whoever this this is somebody that is making an advance. They're making an approach. They're coming in extremely fast. Next to the Eight of Wands, that's the excitement. This is, I know what I want. I'm coming. Let's go. Good luck. I think it leads to a partnership as well. Even though you may not be looking for that. Good luck. 